Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tech Super channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at how to create a master detail page in Oracle Apex. So guys, before we start, I will ask everyone to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get regular updates. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a master details page. Like if we have two database table, which can, in which we have uh, one table contains the country and second table contains contains a state so on that one table you can show the country like uh, india united state and when you click on uh, india like all the corresponding state should be visible in a different interactive grid or another table so if you again click on a united state the table the state table should be refreshed and it should show the states of the corresponding country like United States. So let's see how we can do in this short video. So I'm going to, I will show you uh, two ways to create this master relationship. I am going to create a page in this application. So first of all, I'm going to show you uh, out of the box feature of the Oracle Apex to create master detail. Like when you create a page, we have one type, one component called master detail, which will allow me to create the master detail. So before I show you this, let me show you like I have two tables, like one is the country and second is the state. Under state, uh, I have all the states corresponding to a country and here I have one FK as well, which is a foreign key. Let this to be open. Let me rip. Okay. So again, upon this constraint here, we have this state FK, which joins both the tables. Okay. Go back now. Again, go to create a page. Let's say master detail. And when you select this master detail, it will uh, it will it it will ask you to take any choose any one of them like stack side by side or drill down it's just like a template let me just choose stack and then it will ask the page number let's say master detail one okay and let's say next okay and i am going to create a new navigation entry which will be like master detail one let's say next when you click on the next button, the wizard will not be completed. Now it is going to ask you the parent table name as well as the child. So reason title, I am saying master reason title as a country. And then you have to choose the location like it's your local database or rest enabled SQL service or the rest data source from where you want to populate country. I will choose local database. I will choose my schema as a HA. I am going to select the country, which is my country table. Okay, country and primary key column is ID. Okay, and then ID and the number. So I am going to simply say only ID. I will show only the name. Okay, so I have just moved this ID to left hand side next. And then it will ask you the child table name on the next page. <clears throat> Let it happen. And on this next page, it will ask, let me say state and then similarly location and table and then table name. You can either put the table here. So it will be refreshed. State is the table. And okay, let me select it from here only. state is in caps state and primary key is id and here you have to select the master detail foreign key which is my id okay id to country id i will not show this id and country id that's fine and then click on the create button that's it let the page to be created quickly <clears throat> okay page has been created and we'll see how this page looks like so here it will create two interactive grid one with country second with the state country and here you see it's a interactive grid only wherein it will show the table name and then other stuff and in the state it will take the state and here we have the master detail which shows the country okay 
and under column, if you see, that's fine. Save, let's try to run this page and it will create two processing as well. As well. Let's try to run this and let me see. Enter my username password. Oh, the country does not have a primary key column defined. So, okay, maybe I have done something wrong. That's fine. Let me create a column. Let's say IT column name display only. Let me. Okay, I hope I have done something wrong. Let me just delete this page first of all. Okay, you have to delete everything. Let me just create the page again. That's fine. Let me just create a page by clicking on this again. Let me select this. Next. Let me say master detail one. Next. 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 Again country i will put the name as a country here country it will populate id i have just mapped this id to the left hand side means i have removed this i am not going to remove it <laughs> and let's say state and then here in the table let's say state okay and then ID is a primary key, and then that's fine. Create. Okay, now that's fine. Now, this should be my primary key. If I click on this country and then ID, it should be my primary key. That's fine now. Save and then work. <laughs> now, here we go. You see, India is selecting the corresponding state. If you select this United State, it the table will be refreshed and it will show you the California and then Texas. And here you see it's an interactive grid. So it shows all these options. So if you want to remove these options, you can hide those options. Go to this country, go to this attribute. So this is my interactive grid. You can uh, just toolbar, just disable this. Similarly, state and then disable this. Fine. And again, run this. Now, this time you see only this guy. If you want to remove, if you want to hide this as well, so what you can do, again, you can select this grid state and then disable this. Similarly here also, disable this, save, and then run this again. Here we go. Okay, so this is the first way. So this is like uh, we are using master detail uh, template to create this. Now, if you see country, this is the grid and state is another grid. If you select this state grid, here you will see in the reason. So this is like a reason and it has one attribute called master detail wherein I have selected this master reason as a country. And then in this country ID column, I have selected uh, master detail master column as an ID, which create this relationship. So let's see how to create this page, the master detail page uh, using this blank page format page type next. And here also I will say master. Detail two. Okay, that's fine. Next, create a new navigation entry. I am going to select this parent navigation master detail one. Next, and then finish. Right now, so here I am going to create two separate reason by clicking on this plus, and here I will say country and I will say this like an interactive grid okay and will select my table which is like my country okay so that's fine and here go to attribute and disable this toolbar 
Uh, if you run this page, it will only show you the country, okay, ID and name. And if you go here, this is under this page because I have selected this as a parent and master detail too. And here I have ID and the name. That's fine. I am going to select this column and we'll see this is like a primary key. Okay. And, and I will make this as a hidden so that it will not be visible on the screen. Okay. Hidden. I am going to create another reason here. Let's say state. And here I will also select this interactive grid. And this time I will select state. Okay. Save and under this column ID, and then I will choose this as a primary key. Save. And also I will select this state. I will disable this toolbar. Save. And then I will make this ID as a hidden and country ID as well. Okay, that's fine, save. Let's refresh this page and we'll see. You see India and then United States. And here you see, I can see all the states. Okay, so I want to join both of them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this state and here under state, we have this master detail. I will choose the country, okay. And then select this country ID. And here I will select as a ID master detail. Now that will join on the table. Refresh this and we'll see India, Uttar Pradesh and Delhi and United States. I have California and Texas. So this is how you can create master detail page in Oracle APEC using these two ways. guys that's all about this lecture if you like this video please like comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this video have a good day bye bye